Good morning, everybody. It's Kane here from the Lace Tag High Ticket Show. Whoop, whoop. Okay, super pumped. Uh, you're back again for another awesome episode that we can go through some tips, secrets, and strategies that I can share with you today. All right. Um, now, this is a being. This is a video that uh, I would say quite quite a few people have asked, um, and this is why we're doing the all versus all. Uh, sort of game video, okay, which I can sort of go through with you guys some, some tips and secrets and strategies how you can do it um, And like the technical parts that you can have as well. You might be thinking, oh no, what happens if it's that? And you're like, but it's all right, Kane's told me how to do it. All right, so it's super, super cool. Um, so this all this is all game, um, you know, we do on our own site in, in Oxford. If you haven't been to our site, it's, you know, it's really, really cool. We've got helicopters, tanks, land bridge, buses and that sort of stuff. Um, I can proudly say uh, we are the UK's number one outdoor laser gaming venue. All right, so we love what we do, what, what we've been doing. Uh, we've been doing it since 2002. Uh, we have like, over 250 guns uh, and that sort of stuff. So we just love it. If you're thinking, oh, that does sound quite cool. Yes, it is awesome. All right, if you haven't been, what's going on? But we are coming close. <laughs> um, but with this video today, this all versus all game, we do play on our own site. Um, we use it for, we, we've had scouts come in, so we do it for scouts, uh, for schools, for youth groups, just general fun. You know, families come into our site and they sort of play the game. Uh, birthday parties, um, so this all versus all game is really, really cool. So I want to sort of jump on, share how you can do it, and that sort of stuff when we highly equipment out to you guys and how you can do it uh, wherever you are, okay? So if you are hiring for birthday parties, uh, for school events, for youth groups, uh, the gen general family fun, all right? So if you like that person, like, yeah, all right, you, you can do this at home, okay? It's really easy, very simple to do. We like the hassle-free solutions. That's why I'm here and I'm telling you guys how you can do it really easily uh, and, and that sort of stuff. So let's quickly jump in. So what you would do is when you're doing all versus all, um, when you hire from us, we have like a pack of 10, just for an example. All right, so five red, five blue. Um, with all versus all, what you do is they, they come preset with teams, so red team and blue team where they can't shoot each other, but they can only shoot the opposite team. All right, so when it comes with our, with our technology, you can actually set these up. Um, so they come, so when they come out, they're like pre-set up. Um, but when, when you can set up at home, you can actually program to friendly fire. So hence, when you do all versus all, you want everybody to shoot anybody. Um, and with all versus all, uh, what you pretty much do is you grab this device in your package, which is awesome, fantastic green gun, I hope with a green stick on. Uh, this is called the referee device. So what you do is you, you, you turn it on, you select the Team X, which is friendly fire mode, and then you blip all the guns. You turn all the guns on, red and blue guns, turn them all on, and you blip them all, and they go boop, 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 boop. Okay, and after that, they, they pretty much acknowledge that friendly fire setting. And then all you have to do is just quickly check the screen, make sure that they've got uh, the friendly fire selected. Uh, once you've done then you're pretty much good to go. Okay, you're like, yes, I'm ready for my event. I'm ready to, to go shoot some people. Okay, and it's awesome, all right? Um, so once you've done that, you are pretty much very, you literally are good to go, all right? All you've got to do is end the game, say to the guys, okay, guys, this is the game we're going to be playing, all right? So that's like the pre-setup done, all right? Once you're in the pre-setup, you're going to move into the actual uh, game itself, okay? So we're going to say to the players, okay, guys, we're playing all versus all, okay? The aim of the game is to find out, like, we have to, like, survive against all the other people in the area. Um, the last person remains is the ultimate gamer, and they're thinking, Whoa, this game's gonna be awesome. Yes, I wanna be, I wanna like, tip top of the, yeah! All right, that's, that's what it's normally like. Um, so, when you say this game, so you have 10 people, okay guys, it's all versus all, all right? So, last person remains is the winner, all right? All of you gonna have five half points, which all this comes before, so five shots and then they're dead. Uh, after the game, we're gonna have the ultimate champion remaining. They're like the ultimate gamer, all right? So what you do is you go, okay guys, you're all set up now. Off you go, run, 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 you've got 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Uh, can I have 20 seconds, or you could be 10, 15, whatever you guys wanna do, uh, we do 20. So 15, and then you go down, three, two, one, and then you start the game with, with this device. You literally start the game, and all the devices start at the same time, okay? So you don't have one kid running around with like one gun activated shooting people before, uh, before the game starts. It's a bit annoying. We used to do that. We don't do it anymore. We stay away from that. That's like the classic system. We don't like classic. We were like the digital awesome freaking cool stuff. All right. Um, so when you start the game, everything starts at the same time. Okay. It's like a global effect. If it starts at the same time, it was good to go. It's fair. Okay. And, it, and it's nice and easy for the organizer. All right. Now, once you've done that, people will sort of shoot. You, you can have it where there's a dead zone. Okay. So all versus all. So like if you die, you're out of the game. You sit out and then you can spectate. Now, what I like about all versus all is when someone's, um, when someone's dead and they're in the dead zone, they can give out tactical information, but they have to be dead in the dead zone. Okay, so let's say uh, you did it in the, in, in, in the orchard, in our orchard, 
Um, it'll be like near, near the fence line. So, okay, guys, if you die, you're going to come over here. Once you're in this box, okay, you can talk, you can communicate to your live players. So it's like when they're dead, then they mean set the game like, oh, this is boring. This like, sucks a bit. And not do anything. It's like you, you, you're still in the game. You're like sort of in the game, but you're not. You're not actually playing, but you're like helping other people. Like, no, oh, Tim, Timmy's over there, mate. He's over there. Like, oh, okay, yeah, good, cool. So like, Justin, mate, look, he's, Tim's gonna come around the corner. It's like, oh yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so that's what we sort of do. Um, so it's like keeping them players who I know they've died. They're, they're out of the game, but they're still in the game. They're still like interacting with other players. So that's why you have a dead zone. It's like an active dead zone. All right. And once a couple of people die, like the, the, the instructor, what I do is like, guys, there's four people, there's four people remaining, like, four people, and they're like in the corner with their gun like this, like, <laughs> okay. Um, and then it's like, two people remain, it's a one versus one. They're like, ah. Uh, and then what will happen is, one, when, when there's like one person remaining, okay, literally that is end game, all right? So there'll be like nine people dead, um, and then one person remaining. Okay, and you can end it all with this gun. You can set a timer up, so you a 10 minute game, five minute game, or you can do a global end, you know, manually you can override it. If you want the god gun, the power, you can just end the game, all right? So that's what you can do with that one, but pretty much at the end you're like, okay, uh, Justin, mate, you're, you're the last man remaining, okay, or, or lady. It could be Jane. Okay, Jane, you're the last lady remaining. Okay, you're the ultimate gamer. Give it a round of applause. Ultimate gamer. Woo! Ultimate gamer. Yeah. Okay, you, you get this awesome snazzy, uh, this snazzy highlight as a winner. All right. <laughs> um, so you can make your own sort of uh, things and, and uh, like celebration sort of thing after. Um, that game is like it has the ultimate, you know, phase. So you can do it. Um, you know, um, like I say, for schools. Youth group, birthday, we do it for birthdays. It's really cool. Birthday person, we normally give like double help. They're like a super soldier. They're like, they're like I don't want to go to birth, birthday, but, or the birthday girl. I don't want to get shot by the girl. Oh, I'm gonna die. They're, like, they're, they're too much help. They're like, but they're like, yeah, I'm super cool, yeah. <laughs> so it's like making sure everybody feels awesome. And they're like, I want to be that, I want to be the birthday person. Well, you haven't got a birthday party. You can't, you can't be that one yet. It's, it's only for, it's only for, uh, for, for Jones over here. He's, you know, he's, he's the birthday person. Um, and it's like, oh, okay. But it's like, but then they're like, yeah, I'm really cool. And they go around with like a double half. Um, so it's like, you can make it fun. Make it like enjoyable. Um, but when it comes to the last person, like last person remaining, woohoo. Okay, and it's like game over. All right. Some people are like, okay, we want to play this game a couple of times. And that's cool. You can play a couple of times. Um, but because you've set up beforehand, you put it on like a team, we call it team X mode. Um, and with team X is the friendly fire setting. So it means anybody on each team can shoot each other. So with that, it's a bit nervous because you're thinking, all right, so we we have it on Team X, but once if you want to play that game Domination, where we where you get this box, okay, it's like a capture box. You'd have to set up on teams, okay, because I like it where you can't accidentally shoot your own team. If you want more of a realism, uh, a re we call it the real sim, okay, or a realistic setting, Team X is more like what um our cadet people who hire them is like cadets use, um that sort of stuff where there's like accidental friendly fire. So it's when you then you're just shooting all day long, woo shooting yeah, okay, it's like you have to be careful. It's like Okay, he's on my team, be careful. All right, so that's that sort of stuff. So, you know, if you want to take it back onto team mode, uh, I, I would always advise it because um, with domination box, it's sort of done with teams. So what you do is you quickly grab this gun again. This is one that you set up the guns when it went on to um, team X, the friendly fire set. Simply go on the same sort of thing. There's how-to videos when you hire us of how to do this. Um, it's with the screen. So pretty much you, you go on there and then you set it back to red team or blue team. So let's say we had the red team on the left and blue team on the right. You would turn off all the red guns, okay? And now we're focusing on the blue guns. So you would set this uh, this device up for, for, the, for the blue team, okay? So you're gonna put them back onto team B, which is blue team. And then you blip them, blip, 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 blip. They take that acknowledgement. After that, they're set on blue team. You turn them all off. And then you go to the red team, you turn all the red guns on, back onto this gun. Master controller, the god gun. Uh, and then what you do is you set to red team, you blip them, blip, 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 and then they're, they're all red. After you've done that, you then know that they're on red, they're on blue. Job done. Okay, no one's on the incorrect setting. Okay, otherwise you have one player going around with like Team X and they're getting shot from both teams. They're like, oh, this sucks. So always make sure you check the screens and that sort of stuff. There's, there is how-to videos when you hire us. We do tell you how to do this. Um, so it's really simple and easy to do. You don't like it stressful. Some people have a hard company who do like it stressful. It's like, what? No, we like hassle-free. All right. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. With that one, like I said, it's a really cool game. We're using our own site. Uh, now our helicopters, tanks, and Land Rovers and buses. Um, so in all of is a really cool game. But if you want to keep it team-based, you can. I prefer team-based. Um, but some people are like, the all your, the ultimate champion! Okay, so it's up to you guys on what you want to do. So I hope you've had a great day. Okay, it's Monday. Woohoo, Monday! 
All right, so an awesome day. I love Mondays. Okay, I love to find out what customers have during the week. So like, I think it's Monday's my best day. All right, so it's like I like. Okay, who we got this week? Oh, we got this client. We got this client. We got this client. It's like, oh, we're hiring out this many people. Like, Whoa, it's so cool. Um, so I do love Mondays. Um, now, guys, if you want lace hack, if you're like, yes, I need some lace hack equipment. I need. Okay, give me lace hack equipment now. I need it now. I need it now. All right, uh, you can go to www.lasertaghire.co.uk. It's L A S E R taghire.co.uk. You can grab our ultimate package, which is the best package we offer. Most expensive package, but it's the best. Okay, because it comes with a military, a military grade of red dot scope. Okay, you're never going to get anything like this. It's all integrated, literally from the game. We've got Call of Duty, Fortnite, and Battlefield. So if you play them games, all the kids play them, all the adults play them. Okay, you will get this. This is our best package we have. All right, so you can go to uh, www.lacetaghire.co.uk. You can book online, set the best package, just the armor package, or you can go for the awesome package, which is more suitable for the younger kids who are like five rolls upwards. Um, you can go on there. You literally book 24-7 using PayPal's online booking system, so you don't have to wait for someone to, uh, to get back to you. You're like, oh, someone's got to get back to me now. It's like, you don't have to do that. Our system is really easy. We're like a hassle-free. Okay, we don't, you know, we know your time's valuable, so you don't want to like wait for emails all the time and expect us to get back. It's like you can go online, you can book it. Uh, so you can book it 24 7, it gives you availability 24 7. Like, how cool is that? Freaking awesome! All right, so you can go on and you can book it and you can get your package right. Also, when you hire with us, we include this awesome free domination box. Normally 70, it's normally 75 pounds, but we include it for free when you hire with us. A little special gift. I want to make sure that everyone, the game that I love, Domination, okay, that you guys get it for free, okay? That is, that's right, yes, for free, okay? So when you hire us, you get the £75 Domination box on each hire, or, or on, on the package you have, uh, for free when you hire with us, okay? So I want to make sure all my customers get that because it's such a cool game, okay? And, and I just couldn't live with the fact that you guys, if you didn't, if I didn't give that, I'd, I'd be a little bit upset. I'd be like crying in the corner going, oh, I wish I gave blah, 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 domination box. Uh, so I want to make sure that everyone has the coolest game, the awesome event, the house of free event, super freaking awesome! Uh, and that sort of stuff. So guys, have a great day. Uh, I'm looking forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a quite cool one. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so guys, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.